Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I have some of my favorite colors lingering over here. And a ring pour cup. And a black primed, twice primed canvas. That is kind of plugged. Just too bad. I wonder if I can get that to come out right now. Yes, much better. Well, relatively speaking. And I want to do sections with limited colors in each section. So I don't know how that's going to work. I might need a different container. That was an orange from Hobby Lobby with iridescent pearl fine in it from Golden. That is an Arteza Tangerine. That's my normal black. You can find my paint pouring recipe underneath the video. So much for keeping it simple. I've already gone past that, but I think I'm just going to have a good time right now deciding where I want to put my colors. I kind of want another... Yeah, I'm going to try that. That's a, uh, a neon pink from Folk Art. I would usually use a little bit of acrylic enamel, but right now I don't have much left, so I'm conserving. So, it's good to just start if you're worried. I'm just going to start, and I have paint on my hands, and I don't want it on that canvas unless it's black. So, my studio is dustier than I thought, but so... Never mind. Whatever I do to start with will be joined by something else. Yeah, I don't know why I wiped that off. There's probably going to be something there anyway. Let's see how far and wide we can make it go. And then we will respond to lumps. <laughs> By adding more colors. I hope this is this is as cool as I think it is gonna turn out. I won't know. I need to get this these stripes spread as far as I can get them to go. So the next stripes that I add Yeah. Need an edge catcher as per usual. Oh, and it's got schmutz on it. Nope, not that one. I'm going to make a peeling. I'm going to peel one up. I hope. So pardon me for a minute. I've used all my edge catchers today very, very well. Let's let that drip all the way down. Because I never have gone as far as I could possibly go with all the drips. And I want to see what happens. I'm not trying to waste colors. I'm probably going to do something with those, but I don't promise. I'm going to let those go right over the side. I'm going to move some of my colors out of my way, even though I'm going to need them in a moment, because I want to put my edge catcher down someplace below. Okay, so that went a lot further than I was expecting. And I really want to put some of this. This is the um, Hot Orchid, did I mention, from Color Art. And I'm going to use some Anita's White Metallic. And that's what I'm doing over here, going thump, 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 putting the bottles down on the table. And I used some more of that tangerine from Arteza. Sorry for taking so long. I think that that large object that I see there, that you must see there too, can go. And I 
I'm not going to go that further, much further than that. Let's see what happens when we try and swallow up. I'm going to learn to make my areas smaller so that when they spread they don't... I don't know, it's a first time experiment and I know me and I will do something that I need to do to get it to, to work out if I can. And I'm trying to work out really and truly how to do this, but I can't train myself to do it any other way than by experimenting. And it looks like stripes are definitely going to warp and that's going to have to be okay with me. If there's any control to be had, I don't have it yet. <laughs> but I am having a pretty good time. And I'm just covering the parts that seem the muddiest to me. Orange and the white metallic and the black. And then again, with the orange, which I should not put next to the black. I should remember not to put that next to the black because it does some funky stuff sometimes. But I'm still doing it. So hopefully it works out. Maybe I should try and bend it and see what happens. Let everything go a different area. Why not? I do stuff because I can, and that's the name of my first book. That makes me think that I could combine some of the paint that I have on my edge catcher. That's my second drip. Or third, but who's counting? Okay, so I like the white with the yellow. I think that's pretty cool. The yellow being my Velveeta orange color, but I still have colors in my cup. Trying to change it up on the spot, make up my mind immediately which colors are best. I think I'm going to go this way. Oh, I like the loop de loops are kind of cool. What did I do with it? There it is. Bring it back up. Every time I see something in there, I want to pull it out immediately before it changes the pattern. Come here, thing. Being elusive. Maybe I have it already and I'm not I don't know it. I was kind of hoping to keep some negative space, but so far I'm not sure how that's going. This reminds me of the, of the colors in the Antelope Canyon photographs. If you haven't seen them, you should look them up because they're very cool. I think I can put that right on top of that without picking up any color. So what have I got in here and what do I want in here? I think I want some more orchid and to leave the colors that I've got the same. Let's try a puddle and see how that works.
it is fun experimenting like this. I'm so not done. I'm kind of hoping that, yeah, that paint will lead paint so that the, the drip I put over here will lead that ring pour I put up. I am feeling the need for much more pink over here, so I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to put a whole bunch in there. hope that I'm correct. Yes, I think I am. I think I, I This is my ability to speak today. It's very strange. Now I suppose it's not impossible that if I wanted to, I could take some more paint right there and just put it right down because it's bound to be stripey anyway. And let it combine with that other paint. And so far, it's different. I've got a lot of drips down here. I really am hoping that I will get, learn some sort of instinct about how to get exactly what I want. And I can see that drip headed for where I want it to go. Come on, come on, come on, the race is on. Yes, merge, merged. I think I'm just gonna give myself permission to add. Exactly what I want right there. I got some really nice stripes in there. I don't want to see go all of go, so I'm gonna back off on that zone. I didn't want to lose all that orchid either, but I can still throw some up there. I've got some mud in my cup now. It's pretty mud. I do what I do because I can, and you can too. So I'm just going to use the color that I like that's similar to the other colors and meld some things, and I like the way that looks. I think it's a good idea. I'm inclined to look for some gold. But I'm so not done yet, either. Yes, I am. I am experimenting. The question is, should I use some of my paint? To change it up a little bit. I hope that wasn't a mistake. Turn my etch catcher back up. I haven't wasted a whole lot of paint. Oh, that might be really cool. 
I'm hoping that, that I'm that I'm correct. The Antelope Canyon Stripes. That thing did not come out. And I might be almost done, which is good because my timer is going to go off in another minute. I'm going to show you that. And keep playing with. My skewer. If I need black, I'll put it in there, but otherwise, I'm thinking that this is pretty cool. I could use a little something, something down in that bottom corner. So I guess there's a chance that if I don't get it there before you're gone. You'll see it in the thumbnail, but we are still here, and I can do that. So I do, I do sell my, yeah, I do sell my vid, I do sell my artwork, yeah, Confusion Rings. And uh, if you're looking for my email address, it's under the link tree, link underneath the video. I want a little black down there. Going right up the middle. I think that's going to serve me well. I think I still have some paint left in there. I got a place or two that I can put a thumbprint. Oh, that was right on my foot. So that's perfect. I love you guys. There's over 91,000 of you. If you're a new subscriber, please be welcomed. If you're looking for more videos to watch, I have over 1,600, and you can find them by going to my community. Excuse me. You can find them by going to my channel and looking for playlists, all playlists, creative playlists, and uh, you'll find them organized by the hundred and by the topic. And I'm thinking I want the rest of that right up there. I wish I could cheat and just pull it into place because I don't want to tip much of anything else. I definitely have some paint in my cup. So what I should tell you is that I have Teespring clothing under the video and should you ever want to see anything produced as an all over print t-shirt or leggings and it's possible I will try it for you if you ask me. Same thing with Pixels.com and Find Out America, both of which you can find on the link tree. I'm using it. It's too nice not to use. Oh, I had a fingerprint, so that needed to get covered anyway. So I love you guys, and this is cool. I got one minute left to tell you guys what... Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I would really appreciate it. If you like my videos and you leave me a comment, it's helpful. If you watch them longer, it's helpful. If you watch when the notifications come out, it's helpful. If you would like to help support the studio in the production of videos, it's very appreciated. And you should look for the end screen in the last 20 seconds exhibition video because it will have every given, any given month's drawing prizes included in that exhibition video. And this is cool. I'm going to torch. I might add a little more gold. I'm calling it the Antelope Canyon Ribbon Pour. And I'm going to torch and tell you guys to check out Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links underneath the link tree. Ask me questions if you want. Look for my paint pouring recipe under the video. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I love you all. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Priscilla out.